Ozempic is now at the center of a health debate here in New York. One city council member says the health department should step in to make sure that everyone knows the risks of using these kinds of medications for weight loss. News for Erica Bifel has more information on the Ozempic warning proposal. The councilwoman behind this bill told us that it's not about restricting access, it's about spreading awareness. More than a million New Yorkers are diabetic, and those are the people New York City Councilwoman thinks should be at the front of the line when it comes to getting access to drugs like Ozempic. Many New Yorkers are reporting that they're having trouble accessing their life-saving diabetes drugs. Julie Menon believes that this is critical because nowadays many people seek out these kind of prescriptions to shed pounds. Madeline did. I took Ozempic for about a year before switching to a different GLP-1. Okay, and what do you think about it? I think it is, they are truly life-changing medications. Menon's bill introduced on Thursday calls on the Department of Health to craft messaging that describes how the medicine works, who they're primarily for, and any potential side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach pain. She stressed that her legislation is not about banning the drugs. What we're simply trying to do is make sure that New Yorkers who are choosing to utilize these drugs solely for weight loss know about the risks in advance so their doctors can inform them of some of those side effects and they can knowingly make that choice. She said that several of her constituents told her they wish they had more information before they took the injections. We asked around today, New Yorkers are aware of this method for weight loss. A personal trainer who supports it told us it must be a component in your routine. We shouldn't just be a society that thinks that drugs can fix all. Like you got to be able to have your nutrition in check. You got to start with yourself. You got to work out. Start with all those steps first. For now, Menon's bill is in front of the Committee on Health. Madeline just hopes as lawmakers weigh it, they consider what's best for all New Yorkers. They should first and foremost go to people who are diabetic and need them for medical purposes. But I do think obesity is a medical condition. So I think people who you know, have substantial amounts of weight to lose, and I'm talking, I think it's defined as 30 plus pounds in weight loss, should also have access to it. Minnan says that she also wants to see this kind of messaging in all the city hospitals, so patients who show up there get that messaging directly from doctors. Erica Byfield News 4, New York.